All modal synths allow you to use inverted envelopes where the depth is set to a negative value. Let's focus on filter and amp envelopes. Once inverted, you'll notice everything you've known to be true is no more. Up is down, down is up. Attack is decay, decay is attack. And your key bit now appears to be queuing in notes when you release a key, but not when you press one. Let's have some fun. Here's a simple pad riser, filter at zero, depth at max. Now let's invert the filter position and the envelope depth. We're left with an inverted pluck and a soft brass bond release. This kind of inversion can be taken even further by setting morph at max as well. This is a good example of a sound that's only achievable using an inverted envelope. Inverting our amp envelope is another way to create pseudo ghost notes. In this preset example, you can hear three distinct transients. This is great for riffs and polyrhythmic sequences. Sadly, one minute just isn't enough to show you all the crazy fun that can be had using inverted envelopes, so give it a try yourself, and we'll see you on the next mobile minute.